we're back. I keep doing this. I'm quite shocked that I've been this consistent, to be quite honest with you. But we're getting great feedback from each of you. It's that feedback that keeps me going and says that, hey, you guys want to see this. Uh, so keep letting me know the feedback. Keep helping me out by sharing it. I really appreciate that. I've got to give a shout out to Kevin Fryer and Alan Mead who have done a great job of sharing this stuff and Matthew Standridge, you as well. So thank you guys so much. Now this week, we're going to pick up a case after the implant is healed. We're going to be delivering a provisional. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, we placed the implant guided. We took our impression at the time of surgery. We didn't feel comfortable putting a healing abutment on. So we went ahead and covered up with a cover screen screw and now in anterior cases I prefer to give our patient a provisional so we can train and develop the tissue and then make a final restoration. So you're going to see our technique for uncovery and immediate delivery in this case of a provisional and then uh, in this particular case we went ahead and did a suture. So I hope you enjoy and if you're interested in learning implant dentistry or adding implant dentistry, doing some of the implant work that we're talking about, you need to attend 3D Dentist Digital Implant Continuum. It's a program with myself, Sully Sullivan, John Poschesnitz, and we will walk you through step by step how to do implant dentistry in your office using all the digital technologies that you have, any brand, any system. We walk you through it from virtual planning to guided surgery to guided implant placement to digital impressions to digital implant restoration design. Walk you through all of that. It's three weekends, nine days, live patients. First weekend we do extractions and grafting. Second weekend we focus on the digital. Third weekend we do the live patient on the implants as well. So if you're interested in that, 3d-dentist.com and we'll see you there. Hope you enjoy the case. All right, this week we have a patient missing tooth number eight. Uh, here he was at consultation time uh, with the tooth missing and here is our virtual plan. You'll notice on the cross section that there is a potential bone defect that we were prepared to handle at the time of surgery. It turned out uh, to just be less dense bone. And now we've placed the implant and here we are roughly four months later and he's ready to get a provisional. With all my anterior cases, I put a provisional in place and um, we took the impression at the time of surgery. Here we are, we don't make papilla, papilla sparing incision, kind of make a trap door and um, so that we can get access to the implant. Now we go ahead and remove the cover screw. And then what you'll see afterwards is I use a bone profiler to make sure tissue and bone are out of the way because in the anterior we're placing our implant slightly subcrestal. Here's our pre-made CEREC uh, implant restoration screw retained. It's put into place. I've gently tightened it up and then we're going to go ahead and torque it in. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill the access with composite Teflon and composite. And now we're ready to go ahead and in theory, he has his temporary in place. We're going to shape the tissue. And in this case, because it's a little bit flabby, I'm going to put a very loose um, uh, horizontal mattress suture in to just kind of help keep that in place. Uh, not too tight, but I want to let it go there. So here we are. Our patient is done. We've delivered our implant provisional. And now we're taking his implant records for the upper right hand side. So we go ahead and take our digital impression so that way we can get our patient ready to go uh, for our uh, next step, which is the upper right dental implants. So uh, all of our impressions, a bite, lower arch, upper arch, and here's a close up photo of how we allowed the patient to leave that day. Uh, this will help form the tissue and here's an x-ray of it uh, showing us a nice emergence. Uh, and bone, uh, you know, respecting the bone. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this case. All right, we're done. That's for this week. If you want to get in touch with me, 3d-dentist.com. Don't forget our podcast, tbonespeaks.com. We'd love to have you at our seminars and listen to our podcast. See you next week.